You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer, best-selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello, Denver, and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. We're here to remind you that small business is big business, and your business is our business. You know, uh, Angel, yesterday I was uh, out and about town, and I noticed, uh, as I was sitting and having dinner, I noticed uh, several different cars go by, and each one of them had either a wrap on the car or a label on the car or writing on the car that said uh, insurance. And it it was an insurance, like, parade. Going past were they were they like a caravan for all no, no, the same no, no. all, D- all different, different companies different all different companies, companies right. using their vehicles as billboards right okay and uh, and this caused me to go back to uh, chapter three in our book uh, lists that save my business and ask once again the question what makes you different is it a car wrap is it is it uh, is it the way that you announce your presence is it if you've got one of those little roller skate smart cars or uh, one of those big old Hummers with the, you know, you've, oh, you've yeah, seen, 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 seen them, right? Yeah, I've seen them. And, you know, and it's really fun because I think when you're in there in that creative mode and you're thinking everything my customer sees is an opportunity to create that branding and create that marketing. And right. and so, you know, if you're going to have your have your vehicle out and about, plus I think uh, there's tax benefits to doing that. But I'll tell you what makes you different is not so much about the car wrap. It isn't even so much about being the billboard or if, if everybody gets within two feet of you, they're going to know exactly what you do for a living and right, and right. we've all we've all been introduced to people like that you've got to know who I am and here's my card and aren't we smooth and suave <laughs> but what makes you different is really the audience that you serve right who you serve is is what makes you different because if you're comparing insurance to insurance consumers out there think that they're you know it's rates it's coverage it's uh, deductibles and and it's all the same but if what makes you different is the clientele you serve, and so for example, I knew a um, a massage therapist. Sure. His ideal client, and you think about massage therapists right there. We all get an image. Right. There's one on in every shopping center. Oh, sure. You can go go and uh, have a, a fantastic massage, but. When I tell you that this massage therapist, his ideal client is competitive bike race, bi- uh, bicyclists, right. you know, bike racers, people yep. who participate in bike races and ride bikes. Well, that's different. Instantly, you think either that's me or I or know someone. I know someone. Right. Right. So whenever you meet somebody who happens to be, you know, ride bikes and whether for a hobby or competitively or socially on the weekends, and, you know, they're kind of complaining about a little hitch in their get along you would know exactly who to refer them to. And as we talk about this, I'm reminded of the reaction that we get from many people who hear that that thought that, you know, your your audience, your ideal client makes you different. Uh, they say, well, I don't want to be narrowed down into that little niche. I mean, what what if uh, somebody comes in and they're not a bicycle rider? And, 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 or Will you still or... service them? Absolutely. Because, and so, yes, you do want to be down in that little niche. Now, does he also provide massage to the family and friends and maybe coworkers and people who don't ride bikes? Absolutely. But when you think about making that car wrap, right. is it just a commercial saying, you know, we service all the same things that they service. And what makes us different is customer service. Ugh. <laughs> Nobody's listening. But when you make sure that your website, your business card, your social media presence, your commercials, your, your vehicle wraps, and everything is talking to that ideal client, then you actually get to be the expert in the industry. And it doesn't mean you don't also help other people on the fringe. Well, but it tells you, it, it kind of narrows it down. And don't forget, it is also the customer experience. And talking about who some, somebody who knows the customer experience better than anyone we know, how about the Simonson team, REMAX Professionals? It is Tuesday, and they are out and about creating an experience for their very specialized customers. And, and, you know, that customer experience, and I think that a lot of times we forget that all that marketing that you do out in the community to bring customers in, if you don't provide extreme customer service, that memorable customer experience, right. you're going to lose out. So kudos to the Simonson team with Remax Professionals. If you see the Simonsons out and about, share a photo on our Facebook wall or on their Facebook page, Simonson Team Remax Professionals, and say, hey, 
we'd like you to come and deliver donuts to us too. Absolutely. You've heard about the biggest bite uh, competition. Well, it is drawing to a rapid conclusion. We'll celebrate the end of that tomorrow evening, but uh, don't go anywhere. When we return, we're going to talk to a couple of the sponsors of the biggest bite coming up next on the most positive business talk show in America. The experienced pros revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Hi, this is Angel.